So today I will talk about fuzzy logic systems. Now before I uh, go into fuzzy logic systems, I would like to uh, speak a little bit of uh, and I will also speak about an example in cement plant control. Now before I go into the details of fuzzy, fuzzy logic system, first of all I would like to talk about what kind of control system uh, uh, or what is it, what does one expect in a control system or what is it that we mean by a control system. After uh, mm, uh, that I will go into uh, fuzzy logic system and also I will talk about uh, cement kiln control, the process itself and then uh, I will uh, explain how fuzzy logic system is used to control cement kiln uh, area. So, so first of all just to give you an idea of what, what we mean by process control and what are we trying exactly to control. Uh, uh, we want to define certain things like uh, there are, uh, there are uh, variables known as control variables. There are variables which are uncontrolled variables and also uh, then finally the output and um, uh, there is normally a feedback taken from uh, output side to be able to come to the values of uh, control variables. What should be my control variable? Now I will try to explain this a little bit more in this slide. In this slide you can see there is an input and there is a process and uh, you have the control variables, you also have the uncontrolled variables and you finally get the output. This is a general description of a process. The idea is uncontrolled variables we will not be in a position to control. Now uncontrolled variables are things like vibration of a machine. Uh, mm, material uh, uh, qualities which are input to the system, sometimes we will not be able to control it very well. So uh, or you can have noise in the system which is all, all these variables are uncontrolled variables. Now also we, <coughs> we have controlled variables. Now these are things which are in our control. Say for example, we can uh, switch on a valve to uh, put in some gas or we can f uh, make a flow through um, uh, through uh, LPG or something like that. These are controllable processes by controlling valves or controlling uh, gates we can control these things. Idea is that in spite of variation in the uncontrolled variables, we want the output to remain the same. We want the desired output and there will be variations also in the input. Now just to tell you some examples of industrial processes and the control uh, uh, of industrial processes. We first of all define the processes into batch process and continuous process. Now a batch process is something which is like you start the process and you stop the process maybe after one hour or something like that and the output is uh, taken out. And in a continuous process, the process is running day in and day out. So you all day 24 7 365 days in a year it is going on the process is continuous. Now the examples of continuous process you can say blast furnace controls. Blast furnace once you light it up and it is starting uh, it is started up you will never stop it. You will never stop it maybe years later when there is some maintenance required only then you will stop it. Uh, blast furnace if you are talking about the input to blast furnace if you go back to this slide. So what is my input to the blast furnace? Blast furnace input is like iron ore, sinter, uh, things like that, um, coke is an input to the blast furnace. So these are things which you are putting into the glass furnace. And then controllable process variables, these are things like you are putting in some gas, you have to heat up the blast furnace. So those are uh, uh, control valves and things like that which you are able to control. So those are variables which are controllable variables for the blast furnace. What are the uncontrolled variables? You may have a lot of variation in the process. The iron ore may be a uh, little different every time that you put in. The coke may be a little different. But we want the output to remain same. Uh, the quantity of output, quality of output, let us say in the blast furnace we want 40,000 tons per day coming out of that blast furnace. So all this we want to come out in the same way in spite of variations in the uncontrollable variable. So in this slide we are talking about some 
examples of industrial processes and uh, what is it that we are trying to control in these processes. Now, uh, first of all, we have to understand that there can be two types of processes. One is a batch process, which is like you start the process and you stop the process after, after some time. And there are continuous processes. Continuous processes, uh, they go on day in and day out, 24 uh, 7, maybe 365 days in a year, it is never stopped. So, these are another type of processes. Now, if you are talking of the example of blast furnace, blast furnace is something which is a continuous process. Now, uh, if you go back to the model uh, that we have, here you have blast furnace as the transformation process. Input to the blast furnace would be iron ore, sinter, coke and things like that. Controllable process variables will be gases that are coming into the uh, blast furnace because you have to heat it up. Uh, so, all kinds of flue gases and uh, things like that will be the controllable variables. Uncontrolled variable will be the variables which are not in your control. The quality of iron ore to an extent the iron content in the iron ore is not uh, in your control. So, those are the variables in the process. Even in the coke there may be some variation. So, idea is to get the output consistently this uh, uh, quality and quantity consistently out of the blast furnace uh, uh, by controlling the controlled variables and irrespective of the fact that uh, uncontrolled variables may change. So, so now let us look at uh, continuous casting machines. Here again let us think of that model and try to see what is it that uh, uh, is the input to the casting machine. Casting machines are machines where the input is molten metal it is coming in the form of a ladle where molten metal is uh, uh, carried into the machine and then poured into the machine and then in the output of the machine you are getting bars or slabs. Now, in between there are a number of steps where the bar is coming out of a mold, then it is getting cooled, then it is getting cut and then it is finally coming out of the machine. Now, uh, there are several things. Uh, uh, you desire from the output of the uh, machine that the bar should be regular in shape, it should be of some size, it, uh, when it cools down it should not bend. So, these are quality things which you will try to control by changing the controllable variables. Now, another example we can take is paper machine. Paper machine again you have a uh, paper machine where the input to the paper machine is pulp. Now, pulp uh, can be made from bamboo or wood or even recycled paper. So, these are your input to the uh, machine and as you can imagine that the consistency or the quality of the pulp will vary from time to time. Now, irrespective of this uncontrolled variable, you want the machine to produce, let us say we in this machine we are trying to produce A4 uh, quality paper, where the uh, writing quality paper. So, irrespective of the variation in the input, I will have to control my out, uh, controllable variable in such a way that I get a very good quality paper at the output. What do you mean by good quality? That your uh, GSM or um, grams per square meter that should be consistent uh, or your thickness of the paper should be consistent. There should be no variation in the uh, paper uh, across the uh, machine. So, these are things which you are trying to control by controlling the controllable variables. We can talk of LPG plant for example. LPG as you know everyone is using in their home, uh, it, it is like 40, 14 kgs or something out of which maybe 7 kgs is uh, butane and 7 kgs is uh, uh, octane. Now, this you want consistently that whatever LPG is supplied to your home has this. Whereas, the input to input to the system or when you talk of the process uh, where LPG uh, is getting uh, made, the input is coming from wells uh, and that can be varying in quality. Some wells can give you good quality uh, 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 or consistently uh, all these gases which you are kind of uh, compressing and making it liquid. The others may be low in something, high in something. So, irrespective of this uncontrolled variation, you will control the machine in such a way that every LPG cylinder goes to home with let us say 14 kgs uh, uh, there and out of which 
7 kg will be butin, another uh, 7 kg will be octane. So, this is the general idea that I will not uh, be able to control the uncontrolled variables, I will only control the uh, controllable variables, but I want a consistent output. So, just to conclude what we said today uh, is that we kind of defined what the process is, we kind of defined uh, what we want to control and in the next class we will try to take up uh, what is fuzzy logic, what we mean by fuzzy logic and uh, the basics of fuzzy logic and in the end uh, or when, then we will talk about the cement plant application which we have in mind uh, and how fuzzy logic is used in the uh, cement plant control of kiln.